Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning in to Be Me TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. I say yes to my life transforming. I say yes to my life transforming. I say yes to my life transforming. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. Exhale. What is up, my manifesting mama Cetus and my miracle minded men? Welcome to another episode of Beanie TV. So, today I want to get into one of my favorite Psalms. Psalm 91. You know, it's Christmas time. We have to thank the Lord jesus we have to thank baby jesus for coming and um removing all of our sins and transgressions and you know we just gotta give glory to the one who stands beside the lord so my mom introduced me to this really great trick i would call it um for psalm 91 it makes psalm 91 more personal and it just feels like it makes it personal, but it also feels like affirmations. Um, and, and it's encouraging and it's powerful. And anytime I am feeling just like, it, what is what is going on, God? Like, help. I will read Psalm 91. So, um, can I go through it? Because I've already written. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do in Psalm 91 is everywhere it says you, you want to replace it with me, my, and I. Um, so that, again, it can feel like an affirmation. So that it can feel like God is really talking to you personally. And um, so that you can truly feel empowered. So I'm going to go ahead and read through it. I want to see if I can read over. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm going to read through it the regular way. So this is the... Oh God, what kind of Bible is this? This is the New Living Translation. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease he will cover you with his feathers he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and protection do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness nor the disaster that strikes at midday though a thousand fall at your side though ten thousand are dying around you these evils will not touch you just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished if you make the lord your refuge if you make the most high your shelter no evil will conquer you no plague will come near your home for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone you will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So, that is how you would normally read it, but with this sprinkle of spiritual sassiness, you want to take the you and turn it into me. And also something that I learned while um, going to church was don't read through the Bible fast. Read through the Bible nice and slow and really like get it in your soul. Like this is a living word. This is real. And I struggle guys daily. I struggle daily with remembering that God has called me. God knows me by name. God ha knows every single hair on my head. God knows me, made me, got me. I struggle with it every single day because every day someone does something that I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I have to remember, it's not about like, me it's about them and i shouldn't take it personal so i do i do struggle with remembering who and whose i am and the how how vast and how almighty and how powerful god is and that god got us in the little and the big and um i'm working on it i'm when i pray i pray that 
it just what I read the living word that I read I that it seeps down into my soul so now let's go through it and read it the way that I'm encouraging you guys to read it and actually I've written it can you guys see can you see that I've written down the you me my I okay so those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty even that first sentence is so good it's so good okay this I declare about the Lord he alone is my refuge my place of safety he is my God and I trust him for he will protect me from every trap and protect me from deadly disease he will cover me with his feathers he will shelter me with his wings his faithful promises are my armor and protection do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness nor the disaster that strikes at midday though a thousand fall at my side though ten thousand are dying around me these evils will not touch me just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished if i make the lord my refuge if i make the most high my shelter no evil will conquer me no plague will come near my home for he will order his angels to protect me wherever i go they will not they will hold me up with their hands so i won't even hurt my foot on a stone i will trample upon lions and cobras i will crush fierce lions and serpents under my feet the lord says i will rescue those who love me i will protect those who trust in my name when they call on me i will answer i will be with them in trouble i will rescue and honor them i will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation now can we just talk about how like in the Bible it tells us don't be afraid a lot which makes you know that this world is kind of scary and there are things that you would be afraid of if you didn't know whose you were and I think that's what it is for me is that like there's just there's some remnants of fear in me and I need to get deep down and know whose I am. I am the child of the almighty God who will constantly and always protect me and provide for me and his armies of heavenly angels got me and I know that for sure but it's in the everyday annoyances is remembering that and um yeah I hope that this I hope this encourages you to go to Psalm 91 and fix it with the me, my's, and I's. Um, and I hope this also encourages you to that if you do read your Bible, that you slow down and you understand that it's like hidden in plain sight because like, um, what is this? Like Psalm 91 verse 15 says, when they call on me, yes, when they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble and that lets you know that look this world is scary and this world got trouble but God angels Holy Spirit Jesus is going to be with you you just have to ask for help and call upon him and he will rescue you and honor you so he's just not gonna take you out of the mess he's going to um, restore you and he's going to to make it so much better than it was before and all we have to do is ask so it's so good and it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot to take on it's a lot to comprehend but it's truth it's the living word it is the truth so i'm a huge fan of the psalms i'm a huge fan of uh the book of matthew the book of isaiah ecclesiastes i'm a huge fan of those books and i like you know i like a lot of the books so psalm 91 and then isaiah 41 verse 9 through 10 turn those around make them personal in isaiah 41 you're going to put your actual name and in i in um psalm 91 you're going to turn into me my and i i hope this helps you out i hope this encourages you to read the word it's so encouraging and it's real and it's okay if you struggle with 
feeling like what you're reading doesn't resonate because I can be honest and say sometimes I feel like it doesn't and then sometimes I feel like it does and that's just about me really understanding that God is so real and that his love is so real about me and I think that's where like I struggle because I'm just like how vast is God's love and and what can I do to feel it every day so yeah um yeah so thank you for tuning in and please share some things that you struggle with when it comes to your faith or just practicing reading the bible or anything like that and if you have some tips and tricks for me about like switching around use and eyes into my name please i would love 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 to get some advice and and any of your favorite songs let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys next video be sure to subscribe and share